Hey, and welcome back to Hardcore Valheim in the Man Cave. Well, I'll just put away some stuff. I already need more food space. Hey. What are they hitting? Oh, my bees are getting... I forgot I had bees in those trees. Oops, I gotta go take those bees to my other island. Good job, bees. This is really annoying trying to shoot a bow down. I gotta make more arrows. Haven't been doing that in a while. Alright, bees. Forgot you were here. I'm certainly gonna have to move you. Bees, you'll go to another island one day. We're gonna organize these chests one day, I swear. It'll happen. Alright, we're getting a bit distracted here, unfortunately, because I'm just, you know, raids. I want to finish this dock, and I don't have any wood for it, but I got the rocks I need, probably, to be able to at least start making some support pillars. Sons of bitches. These goddamn necks. Come here. I don't want to have to go in there to get you. Oh. Oh. I'm just in the nick of time, apparently. Oh no, we need some wood before that puppy sinks. Man, time for the dock. Or sure. Also, I guess I might as well just like spawn for this little area. Keep getting a whole bunch of unwanted guests. So we'll build a crafting table and we'll leave it here. Right in between these trees. Oh boy, look at that. Survived with like one health. Let's move the boat over as a platform anyway over here where I can start to try to build off of a little bit. Uh, let's go over towards the base. I'm sure I'll show you where I'm working on trying to build dock. I wanted to have a dock off the wall there. See my stairs kind of pointing up. So there'll be a dock somewhere out here, but it's deep. It's a little too deep. So I've got to I've got to do some like terrain manipulation to make this work. Now I'm going to run out of stones, but hopefully I can get some some pillars in here and start getting a dock to go out a bit. Dock isn't going to look pretty. God. <laughs> That's a structurally compromised setup. I don't want I want to be able to walk with heavy stuff. So I don't really want to to use the other ladders. Thought would be if I come back in and park the boat full of heavy things that I could have maybe like a, a chest that's in reach from my boat so I could dump it into a chest to then be able to jump off the boat to then be able to walk up the stairs, do the walk shame all the way to my forges and stuff. 91! Oh my god. My progress is just slowed to, to nothing. It makes very little sense structurally, but I suppose it works. These these beams might actually be adding some support, ultimately. If anything, they're like my guardrails so I don't fall off. All right, the dock's not very functional probably, but at least I kind of have a dock. I just kind of need to do some flat pieces. Here we go. Could probably go. Oh, ah, oh, I see. I see. Got to do some supports first, like that. Can we do like a straight up like cool A-frame? Is that blue? Oh yeah, look at that. That'll work. Now my dock's going underwater, which isn't the best. And I reached that, sweet. Okay, well, you know what? It's ugly. Super ugly. It will work. This is, this is not pretty, but it is, it is a dock. I don't think anybody will be coming to bother my stuff now. We'll have to cover this all roof it later. I think the base is good enough. I, my understanding is now that I can survive trolls. So I would say I'm, I'm ready to start looking for the elder again. Oh, God damn the raids. But you just stay at your base for more than like 10 minutes. I swear it's just like never ends. Raids after raids after raids. All right. What are they going to do this time? probably gonna come to my boat now. I gotta be careful. They can probably knock me off. I do like this. I can get up on my roof now. Super protected. All my hard work down there for my wonky little setup. These guys are gonna come ruin it. And a storm. My base position. The amount of storms I'm getting. I gotta be careful. The waves might actually let them get on the steps, huh? If I have a brute running up my steps, that would be awful. Yep. The waves got them on. Anyway, whatever. They can stay there. 30 bronze. Upgrade everything. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And then we gotta make a helmet soon. What do we need for that? Leather and five. Start our, start our helmet, I guess. Upgrade it requires five. Just burn through a whole lot of material there. 
Okay, so our helmet we'll put away for now because it's not quite better yet. But we'll wear it soon. Now we got our level 3 weapons. Hey, what the? How did you get in? Did you turn off my steps? Must have. Well, confirmed that they're just going to walk in here all the time, which is a problem. I guess we'll have to do the gap. Uh, Alright, let's do the gap here. We're going to do that. So we'll break these. This will be... There. I can't get past that, right? I just can't stop playing. Like, I just always want to play, but now I'm stuck in, like, a building cycle where I've been building and base building, uh, for what? I don't know. 25 in-game days? Like, we're at day 92. I still don't even know where the Elder is. We have a road to him that we're working on, so that's... We're gonna have to, like, this is... After today, I'm gonna go back and start trying to get to the Elder, I guess. Because, uh... That's the next step. I'm very much just freestyling this. Just a freestyle weird situation here. <laughs> like this just monstrosity of a dock. What am I even doing? Oh, I will say this. My builds may lack in quality. They make up for it in uniqueness. Uniquest builds around. Wonky looking stuff. Okay, well, let's do something really weird now. Let's keep keep up with the theme of weird looking builds. I don't like how that went. Do that. Put like a beam up top there. Don't quite see it. Nope, wait. No one nope, that's not quite what I wanted. The building's just really satisfying in this game. I really like it. Do weirdest build ever. Because now I can do this. Eh, bit higher than that. That, maybe? Sure. And now we can just finish it off with some more... These. Oh, yeah, that didn't... As I bounce up and down in the waves. Can't even reach. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god, what have I done? Need to get more up of there. The waves are kind of screwing me up. They occasionally help me. This whole area can just be supported in a bit of a weird way, but all of this is just to protect the structure from getting ruined. I mean, every time I make something, the rain wrecks it. Oh yeah. See, all my random spunky supports, they're just all working out. Helping each other out. Wow. Ah. The size of these waves sometimes. Uh oh. Where am I? I have to be careful here. I don't want to die. What exactly this is meant to be? The wonkiest of all docks. And because I put a gap there, I can put that back. This is like the piece that's always going to be underwater anyway. So, good enough. Now we need to put... My idea here would have been... So if I come home... With a bunch of stuff, I won't be able to... If I have like heavy ores and I can't carry it, I'm not going to be able to get up this. But at least I'll be able to like make some trips and make it work. Okay, well that that's pretty much the base, I think, for now. I can't really think of anything else that I want to do. Oh yeah, I wanted to... Hmm. I still need to build a better cooking area. Maybe that's the last thing I can do. Because I, I have not enough space anymore for all my cooking supplies. So we need to work on that a bit. We're going to do this. We're going to have like a, a cooking spot. We'll do two fires, and I'll put a little wall here to not burn myself when I go to to that. Oh, seriously? The raids. Ugh. All right, cauldron. And then a whole bunch of these. There. Better cooking area that I can actually work with. I'm gonna have to deepen all the water there or something. 
They can't be allowed to stand up. So they throw rocks at everything. Yeah, actually, I guess we, we want to move this too. We'll just go down and put our... I gotta make some food chests down here anyway. Just gonna put a couple chests here. Look at this mess. I'm not done roofing. Ran out of wood and... It kind of works, but the water is just insane down there. The waves. Getting a lot of problems with bad little baddies coming up the steps. So now, I'm trying to find all the foods and... Food-like items in all of my chests. Because I gotta go and put them in the right place. Yeah, I had to make a new cooking area down here because I just was running out of room. Upstairs, I couldn't even like get to my fires half the time. Mead chests can go in there. Slowly bat gathering up meads. Right? Foods. All sorts of foods. Alright! Day 93. Jeez. We're gonna go and look for the Elder. And I- I... Been thinking a lot about it. And I think the Elder Road plan might be, uh... Not really the best way to go. I mean, it's... It's really... It's been eye-opening that, um... The one that we fa like the the vez vizier or whatever stone that we found near here, uh, pointed in the same direction, and we're if you recall quite a ways away from spawn. So, if the closest elder to us is still the one that we originally were pointing at all that time ago, that doesn't give me a whole lot of hope. Um, you know that we're. <laughs> That we're gonna find anything closer to here, really, I guess is what I'm saying. So I'm a bit, uh, I would say, discouraged in searching here, but then I'm also thinking, well, geez, I know the, the Elder Road that we've started also points in the same direction, and it's also this side of spawn quite a bit. So why, you know, why do we have... Why is that? To me, that just means it's pretty far away. Really quite far away, and I, I'm not sure if there's much point in me continuing the road initially, because I'm probably ending up just trudging through a whole bunch of area, when I might as well kind of sail back to where we were a while back, when we were doing the Man Cave Canal, and see what's there. It's quite likely that I'll find another stone, like some of you suggested previously, that I should just look for another stone. I mean, that's obviously a great idea. And if we do that, maybe we'll end up finding, you know, a, a new pointing direction, and then we'll be a lot faster getting to it. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to run over to uh, the other base, I guess, and then head towards Man Cave Canal because that's where we were way back. I could try really to just like run down my road a lot faster than the previous progress, stop worrying about making torches and just try to bushwhack through it all. But I'm really worried that I'll go past it. And it'll just have been a waste of time. So we need another stone. And we need one to point in a direction that is opposite of the ones we found so far. And that'll be sort of like helping me triangulate where it is. Ultimately, if if I find another one and it points me in a direction I'm not expecting, then that would probably indicate that it's somewhere between my Elder Road and wherever I end up being at the time. So... That's the hope, anyway. Also, while we're out, we might as well collect up things like, uh, you know, berries and boars and necks and deer, because we just consume so much of it at this point that it's needed. So yeah, I don't think the Elder Road makes sense. I guess that's kind of what I've come to decide. Whatever, you know, I'm just going to run around a bit and see what we find. I got to be careful because trolls, of course, are going to be still a pretty big risk. As long as I sleep at night, I won't have too much trouble with anything else. I guess I just gotta search for those little, like, ruined structures and burial chambers to see if I can't find a couple more of these Elder Pointing Stones, because there's really nothing else I can do other than just mindlessly wander around in the Black Forests, I guess. I just don't like the Black Forest pathing. It scares me a lot to have to leave the coastline. Like, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be lucky enough to find the Elder on the coastline. And pathing in the Black Forest is so hard to see. So I'm going to have to come up with a strategy where I, I don't know, start at the coast, go up a certain amount into the inland, and then make like a 90 degree turn, go a little further, and then 90 degree turn again and loop back, and kind of do a pattern of, you know, back and forth to the coast, so I cannot get lost, but I'm also still you know, loading new areas and discovering things, because otherwise... 
I'll get in there. I'll get confused. I'll lose this path. It'll be night. It'll be scary. I just don't want that to happen. And God forbid I, like, stumble into a... I don't know. Swamp or something else, right? That would be bad time. Because I'm, I'm like... There, I don't have a ton of incentive in killing the Elder at the moment. Like, it's not going to help me much. I know it's going to give me the opportunity to go and get the... The iron, I guess, but... I think there's other ways to do that. Even without cheating, right? Like, stag breakering the ground. I'm not going to be any stronger than I am right now, really, when I go into the... To the swamp for the first time. So this is kind of just a... It's a logical step, the next step, but... I don't see it as like, it's not like it's going to massively improve things immediately. The, the return on the investment is going to be a bit delayed. What do we want to do here real quick? I guess we get re-rested. There's two elder seats there. I'm not bringing them with me at the moment because we're not trying to trigger anything, but I do feel like I got to come back here eventually and start moving stuff because there's a whole bunch of good things here that I could be using. The other base, all kinds of... Crafting materials and seeds and things that should get moved. Alright, well we got a big 17 minute rest of buff, so that's handy. I guess it's probably time to sleep, to be honest. Already. So unfortunately we did kind of blow an entire day. So I'm going to go back to the uh, Black Forest that we were in a while back, where Man Cave Canal is. Because I feel like it's there somewhere, given the pointing the direction that everything pointed. So, funding was indeed cut for the Elder Road. The, uh, you know, the board reviewed it, and they said that, you know, we have a quarterly, you know, shareholder review coming up, uh, at the 100-day mark, and we need to see some results. So, they said I better find that Elder, or find a new job. So, yeah, we're kind of, kind of under a bit of pressure from management here. And at the same time, you know, if we get lucky, sometimes it's just all about luck, right? We get lucky, and we just find another stone, like, over there somewhere. We'll be good to go. Unless it points in the same damn direction, because that's what happened to me so far, right? The only two I've ever found are pointing in the same direction. So, like, we're already a decent amount south of the spawn stones, right? So the center of the world. And then, of course, our other base is even further. And... Both stones point in the same direction. So, like... I guess my map has, like, no elders in the southern portion of the map or something. Because, like, what kind of luck is that, right? I figured for sure I moved that far away that I'd get a pointer to a different one. But no luck. Yeah, the board's on my case. All the managers. I hate that I've turned my hobby into work as well, you know? I need capers, like coming to the meetings in the morning and just telling me like, you know, the algorithm wants the elder fight, what are you doing? And I think we're gonna lose the wind, so that's not great. It takes a hell of a long time. This is why I'm so surprised, cause like, I'm far, I'm far away, down there. Just real bad luck. So the elder better be damn close, like, to this part of the map. It's been so long, I haven't really been around here much. Yeah, the other little cabin, I don't think there's like anything left there. We've pretty much cleaned it out. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I need to stop here. So I'm not gonna bother right now. Rest of buff's still doing okay. I don't even think I can get a bigger one there. See, see that ladder there? That ladder points in the direction. Now, realizing that we're far from the actual stone we found it, still, like, I mean, it's somewhere... over there. So, we're going to the Black Forest over here. And there's, uh, actually... There's a road here, too, I made. To the... the there was... There's another Ekthir spawn just up here. Um... Yeah, I think it's just up here. And I started making a path. And I got near a mountain. I remember that. It's a bit sketchy, so maybe I can go in there. I want to say, yeah, it's that that mountain there. Maybe we can look around in this one. This might have been, yeah, this is where there's a village. There's a village in there, and there's a whole bunch of uh, raspberries that actually I wouldn't mind getting. So maybe we'll start our search around here. I, I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable here because it's close to the meadow. 
And there's structures that I can always use in a pinch. So I think we'll do that. Because, I mean, anything anything we find here has got to be closer to where we were before. Than where we were before, yeah. We had a raid here one time, though, and almost died. So we do have to be careful about that. But I do need raspberries. These kind of semi-renewable, non-farmable re farmable resources are always my problem. Blueberries, raspberries, mushrooms. I remember that I marked this on my map because there's quite a few here. It's quite the haul, actually. That's a pretty good, good amount of raspberries to get right there. And we do need the poor meat, too, so whatever. I mean, the primary focus of this trip is to find the elder, but the secondary focus is to gather all the goodies. So that just got us hooked up with a whole bunch of raspberries. So that's sweet. For now, I can keep this, I guess, although I don't need most of it. Uh, now we'll go over we'll go over to the Black Forest there. So let's see what we got going on over here. Is it a skeleton? Great dwarf? Nobody? Skeleton. I don't know if I can block this guy. Oh, I can. That guy could have hit me, probably, if, uh, <laughs> if he was a little smarter. The tree in here, I'm having a hard time seeing. Uh, yeah. Probably a chest up there, I would assume. This is a really nice little spot, though, to come back and survive in if I need to. If I can get rid of this tree. So that's handy. If I could figure out how to get down, also, without dying. Let's go find that tree and deal with it, but let's check around the side if there's a stone. That's what I'm looking for, is a little pointing stone thing. Come on, baby. Balls. No stone. That's too bad. Okay, so now I gotta get, like, a little emergency shelter built here, basically. And these guys are gonna be harassing me the whole time. Need a little bit more wood. Gonna take a risk here. Maybe I can make my place a little smaller. Be smart. Get rid of that. Get rid of that one. And just do, like, a little roof up here. Maybe that'll be enough. See, because all these guys are going to start coming, and they're going to give me a lot of trouble. Let's see. Still too exposed? Ah, oh, that's awful. Why is it too exposed? This wall? Probably this wall. But now I probably won't have enough to build a bed. Oh, just enough. Come on. Come on, game. What's your problem? Don't be like this. Get work there. There we go. Okay. So we can get a sleep in. 